did. <laughs> Literally changed my life. I just... <laughs> You got younger, in fact, now, I think, than you did in Sunset Boulevard. Well, there they had to make me look older. Did they? Yes, really? because I wasn't yet 50. I was 49. And they wanted me to, <clears throat> they wanted me to look older than um, uh, Holden. And I said, well, don't do this to me, because they started putting lines on me in top lighting, and I looked like I had a mustache with the top lighting. My nose was making a lot of thing here. And I said, well, why don't you make him look younger? So they sent him to the barber, clipped him over the ears, and put some dark in here. And um, then I said, all right, I'll do it. Because at one point, I was really ready to go back to New York. Really? Oh, they looked, made me look really as if I'd had a very hard life. Yes. <laughs> you mentioned there about leading men. I mean, in your long career in Hollywood, you must have worked with most of the... Uh, best known leading men in the business, I suppose. Well, I should say Valentino. Valentino worked with the Valentino. Last... Valentino, that's what he insisted on, was it? But I mean, what was he like, Valentino? That's the strange part about it. I first met him when I was writing, uh, we used to on Sundays, it was the only day we had off, and I liked horseback riding, as many people did out there, and so we'd meet in the Hollywood Hills, and I was already a star. And he and I would look down at that little place down there called Hollywood. And he had dreams. He wasn't a star in those days. His reputation was dreadful. He was called a gigolo. What did that mean? It meant that he danced with people and maybe got paid for it. So I didn't think that was horrible. He had ex very good manners. He was a gentleman. He was nice and kind. And uh, so then when he did the Four Horsemen, of course, all the people that said these dreadful things about him were there at the opening, darling, darling, how oh, wonderful. And I was standing over in the corner watching all of this nonsense. So Eleanor Glynn, incidentally, a British lady, had written my first starring picture when I left the mill, and it was called The Great Moment. And then she had seen Valentino, so she wanted him <coughs> to get a picture with me. So what she did was write a story beyond the, um, beyond the rocks. And so we made a picture together. And I found him very charming and a very nice man, but uh, I knew nothing about his private life whatsoever. You didn't find him sexy? I didn't think of him in that way. Out in the picture, I suppose, when you're doing a love scene with somebody, you probably feel that, that he might be, yes. Which of all your leading men did you most sort of, not fall in love with, but, but found it possible you might have fallen in love with him? Well, Which I you most attracted two. To? Two. <clears throat> Well, shall we go backwards in chronological order? Uh, naturally, Holden. William Holden? Yes. A wonderful actor and a wonderful man. And I, my mother said he was the handsomest man she'd ever seen. And then I would say Olivia. Olivia was. Oh. Uh, yeah.